Holy Spirit, give me the words, Lord, that will bring life. Words on the wings of the morning, the dark night would fade away. If you speak to my heart now, give me my joy to listen. Message of love, message of love, love. love. love.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How y'all doing on this Monday morning? Um, God is yet good. He's yet faithful. He's yet great. You flying out today, praying for you, Miss Tanya Brewer. Good morning, Vance Tremaine. It's good to see you. It's good to see those that are on Zoom. It's good to see those that are on Facebook. Would you like, share, and tag this morning? I'm going to move out the way. I'm going to give you what God has given me to pray on this morning. We had a magnificent time on yesterday. God rained down on us. Deacon Justin preached a mighty, mighty word coming from the book of John talking about Lazarus and what y'all know I'm going to talk about Lazarus today amen the word was so powerful you can go back and you can watch it on YouTube and you can watch it on Facebook live but God is yet good good morning say good morning to me and I'll say good morning to you God has done great things we've had a great weekend we are yet living we got yet breath in our bodies on this morning so what that deserves a praise and you should be excited what god's going to get ready to do for you let me say good morning to those that are on facebook and then i'll jump into zoom on this morning i did see my bishop on early this morning god bless you sir god bless you julie rainey it's good to see you crystal crawley god bless you it's good to see you as well erica god bless you pastor good to see you jen marie god bless you it's good to see you how you doing Good God bless you, Tammy Green. It's good to see you. Daniel Kingdom, it's good to see you as well. Sharmina, it's good to see you as well on this morning. David Richard, God bless you, man of God. It's good to see you. Pastor Charlene, it's good to see you as well. Uh, who else we got? Mo, it's good to see you as well. 
Adrian, it's good to see you. Darius, it's good to see you. Nick Kia, it's good to see you. Love you so much. It's good to see you as well. Um, who else I got on here? Pastor Lisa, I think I just seen you come in. Monica, it's good to see you. Kia Lewis, it's good to see you as well, which you keep tagging and sharing and liking on this morning. Um, Michelle Griffin, Sarah Dreas, it's good to see you. Marvelous Rogers, God bless you. Miss Alston, it's good to see you. Courtney Young, God bless you. It's good to see you. Trinetta, how you doing? Where's Erin? It's good to see you on this morning. Good morning. It's good to see you on Monday morning. Alethea, it's good to see you. Christina Taylor, it's good to see you. So those that are coming in, like I said, like, share, and tag. Who do I have on Zoom this morning? Good morning, Carolyn. It's good to see you. Kiana, Mr. Singleton, it's good to see you on this morning as well. Patty Cake, it's good to see you. Hey, Cherie, how you doing? Jalen, God bless you. It's good to see you. Ayanna Brown, it's good to see you on this morning. So let me jump into what I want to release on today. It's good to see you. And um, Deacon Justin talked about it's time to move. It's time to mobilize. Some of us are in this um, stagnant position. And one of the things that he talked about yesterday that blessed me, it said, he said, can you still... Trust God when everything looks dead. He said, can you still trust God when everything is dried up? He said, can you still trust God when you don't feel him, when it doesn't feel good? Can you still trust him when you feel defeated or you can't see it? Can you still trust him? You know, and so I went to the scripture. I took a little piece of it. I went to John 11, 42 through 43. And before Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, listen, he prayed to God and said, and I know that you will always hear me. He's praying to his father. Now, Jesus is praying to his own father. He says, but because of the people who are standing by, sometimes it's the people standing by that causes you not to believe God for your miracle. Sometimes it's the people standing by that don't believe he said, he said, but, and he said, I said this, they may believe that you have sent. Some of y'all have been sent by God and they're going to believe that Jesus is here. He said, it's time to loose them. Some of these people you going to have to loose. And so this thing came in my mind. Now I want y'all to put it in the atmosphere. Don't be the hindrance that creates delay. The problem is if you don't believe, you may be the hindrance that creates delay in your life. So I'm going to ask you today, what do you believe? Do you believe that God can break out? Do you believe that God can break through? Do you believe that God can heal and deliver and set? Do you believe that God is a God of greater? Do you believe that God is a God of more? Do you believe? I'm going to put it in the atmosphere. What do you believe? What do you believe? Put it in the atmosphere. What do you believe? So today, hey, Zoom, what do you believe today? Today, I'm praying for those that have feeling like they've been bur uh, buried. I'm praying for those that are under stress. I'm praying for those that are dealing with heartache. I'm praying for those that are dealing with sadness. I'm praying for those that are dealing with loss. I'm praying for those that are dealing with sadness. You no longer will be a hindrance that creates delay. Your mouth is creating delay because what do you believe? Do you believe that we serve a mighty God? Do you believe that we serve a God that will heal? Do you believe what? do you believe? It may look dead. It may look like it's buried. It may look like it's in the grave, but you got to believe that God is yet good and he's going to bring you out, even though you can't see it right now. I'm praying for those that have been abused and mistreated. I'm already praying. I'm praying that God begin to heal. I'm praying that God begin to restore. I'm praying that God begin to deliver you on today. I'm praying that God begins to vindicate those that need to be vindicated on this morning, people of God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a mighty God. You will not be delayed. You will not be held up. But the favor of God is going before you. Stop believing these doubting people. It's time to loose them. If they don't believe what God can do, it's time to loose them. If they can't talk about God, if they can't push you in the atmosphere, it's time to loose them. They have kept you bound. What do you believe? That
that means you have come into alignment with them. That means you have set buried with them when you come into agreement with them. So everything in your life that you want to prosper has now been buried because they don't believe. What do you believe? I'm praying for the ones. I'm praying for the ones that cried out. I'm praying for the one that's going through, oh God. But the Bible says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And then I'm praying today that there be a suddenly, oh God, that a suddenly begin to take place, oh God, in the will of God today, that there be a suddenly for Tanya today, that there be a suddenly for Karen. Karen, what do you believe? Do you believe that God can do it? Yana, do you believe that God can do it, Pat? Do you believe that God can do it? What do you believe? So today we're praying, God, in the name of Jesus, that no weapon formed against your people shall prosper, God. So pray to, today we're praying that let people be delivered and souls be saved today, God. We pray now in the name of Jesus that there be no entanglement and there be no bondage, God. We pray now in the name of Jesus that the people won't be bound, God. But today we pray that it suddenly comes for Darius today. That doors will be open for him today, oh God. That his mind will be stayed on you today, oh God. Loose the people and let them go today. So they will have freedom and free course, oh God. What do they believe? Do they believe that you can heal, deliver, and set free? It is time to move, oh God. So today, God, we're coming out of stagnation, oh God. Today, God, we're coming out of backing down. What do you believe? Do you believe that God can do it for you? What do you believe that God can bring you out today? What do you believe that there's no weapon formed against you? He said, they that wait upon the Lord, oh God, he shall begin to renew your strength, oh God. So that means strength is coming back to your people. The strength of God is moving like never before, oh God. The strength of God is moving for Sharmina today, oh God. The strength of God is moving for Trinetta today, oh God. The strength of God is moving for Crystal today, oh God. What do you believe, oh God? Are you standing on the righteousness of God? Are you standing on the promises of God? Are you believing that God says who he is and who he is to come, oh God? Are you believing that you're no longer bound up? Are you believing that you're no longer set free? Are you that you're set free? You gotta believe that God's gonna do it just for you today. You gotta believe that God's gonna pull you out and shift you through. You gotta believe that God is gonna uproot you so you can have freedom and joy. I prophesy to the atmosphere, oh God. That you're no longer, you're no longer depressed and weighty, oh God. But you're going from healing to growing, oh God. I prophesy to the atmosphere, oh God, that the mighty hand is on your life, oh God. And the things of God are getting ready to manifest like never before, oh God. I prophesy to the atmosphere now in the name of Jesus. You won't be under, you won't be buried under loss anymore. I prophesy to the atmosphere today that you won't be buried under the struggle anymore. Loose now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Loose the spirit now of depression on the minds of your, of your people. He said, I give you power, love, and a sound mind today, God. I'm praying for a sound mind, oh God. I'm praying for the people to be delivered, God. I'm praying for them to come out of themselves, God. They talked about themselves, oh God. They blocked their blessing, oh God. They are the hindrance to their delay, oh God, because they do not believe today, God. But I'm praying that they believe in you, God, that they may see you, God, and that they begin to open up their eyes and hear and listen to what you have to say, God. I pray now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that the will of the Father, hey, that the will of God, yes, God, will show up in their homes today, God. I pray that they believe, God, that they will move in this next season, oh God. I pray that it won't be stagnant, oh God. I pray that the will to keep going will go on, God. I pray now in the name of Jesus, oh God. He said if you make your bed in hell, he'll be there. He's a lily in the battle, he'll be there. He's a bright in the morning star, he'll be there. What do you believe? The word said when he formed this world, oh God, he breathed life on you, oh God. So I'm breathing life back into the people of oh God and the wind of God now is coming like never before oh God I'm breathing life back into you oh God so that you can receive joy today the breath of life is going to take over you now and the wind of God is going to take over you oh God there needs to be a refreshing and the an outpour I hear you God in the spirit oh God I hear God, oh God. I'm praying for the redeemed now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying that they be restored, oh God. I'm praying for the one that's been broken. I'm praying for the one that's tired, God. I'm praying for the one that's been crying.
worrying, oh God. I'm praying for the one that's been worrying, oh God. Today, God, loose them like never before, oh God, and take them to another dimension, God. You said in your word that we got power and authority over the enemy, God. I choose my power today, oh God, to loose these chains, God. Loose these chains of sadness, God. Loose these chains of hopeless, God. You got the power and the authority, oh God, to come against every mind battle in the name of Jesus. No fear today, oh God. What do you believe? Cancel fear in the name of Jesus. Cancel fear now in the name of Jesus. It will prosper and you will prosper. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I cancel premature death in the spirit. I cancel premature death in the natural. You will do your intended purpose. You will live it out in the name of Jesus. And you will see the rewards now in the name of Jesus. I pray today. I pray today. I pray today, she had none of my and none of my Loose the people of God. Loose the people of God from being stagnant, God. Loose the people of God from worrying, oh God. Loose the people of God from the struggle, God. Loose them now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We pray today. What do you believe? What do you believe? What do you believe? What do you believe today? We loose it now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for redemption now. I'm praying for redemption now. I'm praying for the resurrection. It's already here. He is already here. He wants to resurrect you out of that dead place. He wants to put you back on the potter's wheel. He wants to mold you and shape you like never before, oh God. He is Jehovah Jireh, oh God. He will provide for you, oh God. He is Jehovah Nisi, the Lord God, our bed, oh God. He is Jehovah Shalom, God. Our Lord, our peace, he'll give you peace, oh hey God. Hey God, hey God, I hear you now. It's already done. It's already done in the spirit, God. It's already done, God. I pray now in the name of Jesus that it is so, oh God, for the people that believe. I hear you, God. There's some people on the line that don't even believe. Oh God, oh God, help me today, God. Help me today, God. You already don't believe. But God said in your word, if you believe. You are the hindrance to your delay. You've been praying. You've been fasting for some things. But you don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe. You don't believe. You've been going through. You're like, God, I want to come out of this. But you got to believe. Hey. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. It's already done, God. It's already done, God. It's already done, God. We're going from healing and growth, from depression and weightiness. We're going from healing and growth, from depression and weightiness. We're going from healing and growth, from depression and weightiness. It's already done, God. I hear you in the spirit, God. It's already done, God. You got to put in the work. I pray now for deliverance to come. I pray that deliverance comes from the entanglement, from the illusion and the disillusions. I pray now, oh God, what you see in the natural is not the same thing in the spiritual. I pray now that your eyes be loosed up so you can see things in the spiritual before they even before you even encounter it. I pray now that your stagnation that you begin to move like never before, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we call forth the suddenly. We call forth the suddenly. We call forth the suddenly for Yolanda. We call forth a suddenly for David. We call forth the suddenly for Jackie. We call forth the suddenly for Rosalind. You no longer bound, but you're set free. You're no more entangled, but you're set free, oh God. The Bible said, when the spirit of the living God, he's going to fall afresh now in the name of Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus, when the spirit of the living God, there is freedom and there is liberty, God. So there's going to be a fresh freedom that's coming up. There's going to be a fresh wind that's coming. There's going to be a fresh outpour that's coming. There's going to be a fresh, a fresh refreshing that's coming. Now in the name of Jesus, it is so. It is so, Sarah. It is so, Deanna. It is so, Rachel. I got to go this morning. I got to go, but God is going to raise you back up. God is going to restore you. God is going to heal you. God is going to vindicate you. God is going to bless you with the works of your hand. God is going to do it for you today. Yeah, da ba ba ba,
Jesus said, let him go. You got to put it in the atmosphere. Loose me and let me go. You got work to do. You got purpose to do. Loose me from the things that's holding me up. Loose me from the delays. Loose me from me, God. Loose me now. Jesus said, let him go. He never more see. He, he called him out of the grave. He called him out of the dead place. He called him. He called him out in the name of Jesus. I got to go. Loose me. Loose me, God. Loose me. And let him go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go of fear, God. Let me go of shame. God, let me go of worry. God, let me go of sadness. Let me go. Let me go. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. Let me go. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. I got to move. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for prayer. Thank you, God, for prayer, y'all. And thank you, God, for prayer. When you've gone through, she in an emotion. And God loses you from a thing. And That's freedom. I got to go this morning. I thank you for praying. Would you sow a seed this morning? Would you sow a seed? I need everybody to sow something. I don't care what it is. I need you to sow something today. And I want you to put on it. Loose me, God. Loose me. Loose me. Loose me. Let it go. Let it go. It's in the past. Let it go. Let it go. It is holding you up. You are tired. You are weary. It is holding you up. What do you believe? Which is so I'm going to sow in this morning. I believe the ways to give are down below on this morning. If you're going to sow, let me know on this morning as we transition from prayer. If you were blessed by prayer, would you let me know you were blessed by prayer? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Michelle, for sowing. Thank you, Michelle Griffin, for sowing. Thank you, Yolanda Renee, for sowing on this morning. Thank you all for sowing. Put on there, loose me. Loose me. And, you know, redemption is not about erasing the past. It's about acknowledging it and learning from it and actively choosing to be better. So today we want to be better today. Tracy, Tracy J, thank you this morning. Um, all those that are sewing, I thank you so much for sewing. The ways to give are listed down below. Just a few announcements today. Tomorrow we'll be back for midweek impartation at 7 p.m. at 2510 the Build America. Thank you, Jackie, for sewing. Thank you, Tisa, for sewing. Uh, we'll be back for at 2510 Build America Drive at 7 p.m. Um, then we'll be back this week. We do have the hub this Friday coming up. Um, and we we're talking about navigating parenthood at 7 p.m. on Friday night. And it's going to be via Facebook Live. It's going to be a phenomenal event, as well as we will <clears throat> be back on Wednesday and we'll be back on Friday morning for prayer at 7 a.m. Amen. Thank you, Bishop, for sowing. Thank you, Erica, for sowing. Thank you all. I'm going to go ahead and sow. I pray that you all were blessed by prayer. I definitely will be seeing you all next month. This is the last um, Monday in February. So I have. I hope, pray that prayer has blessed you all this month. I love you all with the spirit of Christ and you guys have an amazing day. Amen. If you're not holding on, I'm going to let you know I'm again. I'm not talking to you. But I need people that's holding on for something greater. Trials and tribulations come.
second. There's a word. If you're not holding on, I will let you know if they can't. I'm not talking to you.